Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 15.4. Now this is an amazing update and it's just getting better. We are now days away from the release of iOS 15.4 to the public and this actually has made a huge change on iOS 15. Just as we thought Apple was done with iOS 15, with the release of iOS 15.3, we didn't get any new features whatsoever but with iOS 15.4, even though we expected to get some new features, we didn't expect to get that many new features and of course that many changes on iOS 15. But of course, when it comes to updates, it's not just features that will make an update great. It's battery life, performance as well, and of course, bug fixes. These have to be improved in order for an update to be really good. And iOS 15.4, especially now with beta 5, is truly amazing. A big, big change we're waiting for a long time is now here, and we're gonna talk about all that in a second here, which will actually make a huge difference on your device, and of course, will make you wanna install iOS 15.4 on your device as soon as it gets released to the public. First of all, let's talk about a few minor changes that we missed on Beta 5's review. Basically, we have a new URL icon here on the Shortcuts app. So this right here, the icon, the glyph for the URL action has now been changed, redesigned with iOS 15.4 Beta 5. There's also a change here with Face ID with mask. This is of course one of the biggest features of iOS 15.4. And now with Beta 5, you will get basically quite a wider range with this feature. So with beta four, when you had to unlock your iPhone with a mask on, you will have to basically just look down at your phone. So it actually just recognizes your, the part the upper part of your face, like your eyes and that. But now it actually has quite a wider range. And if you have beta four and you have used this feature, when you install beta five, you will notice that change. Of course, now Apple is preparing this for the release to the public because it will be here probably in like a week or so from now. So this has to be, of course, very efficient and very fast. And now with beta five, it has actually improved a lot. So if you use this feature, you will notice that it will unlock your device much, much quicker. And you don't have to actually be really focused and put your head down in order for this feature to work and recognize your face while wearing a mask. Now here is another feature that is actually older. It has been released, I believe in beta three, maybe even earlier, but I've missed this feature and it's actually quite good. So if you use the password section here on the settings app on your iPhone, when you go to one of your passwords right here, now you will have the ability to actually add a note to that password. So if you just tap right there, it will show you this section right here from where you can go ahead and add a note for that password, of course, for these like informations that you have saved for this account. And that can maybe be like a hint to that password just in order, maybe you forget the password or something like that, but you can actually add now a note and of course save it here under the password section on the settings app. As I said at the beginning, when it comes to updates, of course, features and changes are really important. But one of the most important things is also battery life. Now, since the release of iOS 15, I've experienced here basically kind of like the same battery life on all different versions of iOS 15. Of course, I have tested on this same device, different versions of iOS 15 betas, general releases and all that, but none of them had as better battery life as iOS 15.4 beta 5. So it's beta five that will make a difference here. Now, it's not only me that I'm saying this, there are a lot of reports from beta users that are actually reporting that the battery life with beta five is much, much better than the previous betas and of course the previous versions of iOS 15. So you can see right here, currently my device is at what is 80, at 78% battery and I had here like, since it was charged last time, so it was charged at 424 right there. And I had about two hours of usage right here on my device. And now it's only down 22%. So that's really, really good. And if you take a look at the battery health right here on my device, it's currently at 92%. So it's like, like, like this is a new device, a brand new device. And of course you can expect two hours from that device, but with 92% of battery health, I got two hours of on-screen usage right here with 22% 20, 
of battery so that's really really great i have noticed this change which i believe is a really really big change on ios 15.4 which of course came here with beta 5. again there are reports on reddit ios beta subreddit there are a lot of reports from people that have actually noticed this and i believe this to be a really really big change with ios 15.4 i don't know what apple did what they fixed but it seems like the battery life is way way better with ios 15.4 beta 5 so if you have this beta on your device please let me know right down below in the comments whether you have experienced this change or not of course when you have great battery life you also want to have great performance as well and in my experience this beta has been really really good since the beginning when it comes to performance of course there are bugs most bugs will be based on like devices different devices different users will experience different bugs but as far as like general performance goes this update is really good and if we go right here to the cpu benchmark on Geekbench right here you can see the last beta beta 5 actually is quite good and it has a slight improvement here over beta 4 so you can see 1594 1595 we also have here a slight increase on the multi-core score so we have 4232 while we have 4240 right here with beta 5 so a slight improvement over the last beta but it's really really good performance on ios 15.4 has been quite good since beta 1 now let's talk about bugs and bug fixes what you can expect with ios 15.4 now most of the time on previous versions of ios 15 when i go to the spotlight search i won't see any suggestions at all but with ios 15.4 now we have suggestions here and they will show most of the time when you go to the spotlight search with this new version of ios 15. and of course one of the most annoying bugs of ios 15 the storage bug so you go to general you go to iphone storage now on ios 15.4 beta 4 this was really really good and really fast it looked like the bug had been fixed but now with beta 5 it's actually back in my experience here on my iphone 12 pro max right here it is back so it's again taking a lot of time here loading the storage of my iphone even though it doesn't take as much as it used to with previous versions of ios 15 it's still kind of slow it was way faster with ios 15.4 beta 4 so let's wait for the final release and see how this will turn out hopefully apple will fix this again but again it's not as bad as it was on previous versions of ios 15 but it's worse than beta 4. on previous versions of ios 15 you probably have seen this prompt a few times because apple has been basically like testing this or something like that but now with ios 15.4 this looks to be now official every time i wanted to update to a new beta i got this pop-up even though a lot of people have reported not getting this pop-up when they tried to update from ios 15.4 beta 4 to beta 5 i got this from beta 4 to beta 5 as you can see right there i was downloading beta 5 when i got the pop-up so i can confirm that this is official now with ios 15.4 great great new feature the ability to actually download an update over seller or start downloading an update with wi-fi and then move on to seller without interrupting the update this has been a great new feature which of course apple didn't talk about but it's here and it's very very useful and now let's talk about updating to ios 15.4 now as i said this release is very very close probably within days we will have ios 15.4 being released to the public i believe that apple is releasing the rc version tomorrow at their event and then next week a week from today march march the 14th that will be they will release it to the public so what you want what you want to do how to update to ios 15.4 this is basically for users that actually have the beta version so currently we're sitting on beta 5. if you just want to move from the beta directly to the public release what you want to do is right now go ahead and go to the general settings go to vpn and device management and make sure you remove the beta profile and just restart your device so you go here remove the profile and restart your device and you're good to go and then just wait for the public release but if you update to the rc version which most likely will be released tomorrow 
then you won't get an update when the public release is out. So basically RC version and the public release are both the same update. So if you install the RC version, just notice that you won't get the update for the public release of iOS 15.4 and that's okay. You don't have to because it's the same build number, same exact update. And last but not least, let's talk quickly here about the release date, even though we talked about it a few seconds ago, I mentioned it. So what I expect to happen is Apple to release iOS 15.4 RC version tomorrow. That will be March 8th. They're holding their spring event. Of course, the new iPhone SE3 will be released and all that. So I expect Apple to release the RC version tomorrow. And then next Monday, a week from today on March 14th, you can expect this update to come to your device, of course, as a public release. So that's about it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and leave a like if you did. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you on the next one.